room. So the room is expanding. Love. I just absolutely 100% love. Oh, I didn't even... I didn't even come down here um, off freaking camera. Oh, I'm gonna have to do some more bloody interior decor, interior decorating. Which is most annoying. But, oh my god, that looks absolutely fan dabby dozy. Yep. Uh, yeah, that. Venom's uh, tentacle. Potions, potion, well, whip and well, whip and well. Got four. Uh, I can't see how I remember. Coming down here and everything was all organised and I had to um, play reorganise it on my. Um, um, my first. I think was it my first playthrough? Yeah, my first playthrough. When I was just a little noob. Um, speak, yeah, speak to Sebastian. Cause he needs. Is that him? Hell no, yeah. Will the game tell me where to go? Uh, I think so. Anyway, yeah. Oh, I need to go to. I need to go to the Undercroft. Okay, that's um easy. Because I need to go to the Defense Against the Dark Arts flu flu flame. So that's it's one less bit of travelling. Uh, I don't need. I don't have any lessons. Pretty much all the spells. So let's go to the Undercroft. Because most of the um, these quests now are going to be like sort of one after the other, if you know what I mean. Because I've now completed the uh, the main. You'll never believe what I've learned. The main what did you quest. discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I know we had to do it to open the scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book, and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the Dark Arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send it out. Don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. We are trying to stop you. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going off is not a good idea. 
Sebastian doesn't even realise it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Okay. Oh, hello, Sebastian. Why are you just stood outside us? All those new. I don't know. A little bit weird. Talk to Poppy. Need to do that. Need to do that. Son of hogs, me so. as I'm gonna get to that side of it. broom to fly there because I can't reuse my broom in, in Hogsmeade. Uh, oh, do we have to wait for her? Yeah, we do. It's getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Yeah, we'll do later. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Okay, so speak, basically speak to three people that could speak out against Harlow. Oh, hard work and good luck. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe. I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. 
Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give, and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. I've already been in danger, love. Uh, okay, so, so you can read that if you want. To. Thank you. Uh. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check that. Uh, please tell me you didn't take it. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly, in an instant. He took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I have been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Sorry about that, I had to... Before I was getting a call, but I wasn't. It's just one of those nuisance calls. Didn't hear my phone go off because it was it's on, vi on, the, uh, on vibrate. It's like, hello, I'd like to talk to you about your extended warranty. It's like, no, go away. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused.
If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking. As you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. So return to her. It's a wall. Don't run on the wall. Do I can even get XP for this? I hope I get XP for this. Cause I need to get the level 36. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Okay. Go all the way for nothing. Find. <laughs> Trying to find her at the hog's head. That he must be around here somewhere. wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Shane, I can't play a record that can happen to you. Led to this room. Um. There must be another way forward. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Okay, it's locked her full. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. We ought to just kill her. Good freak. Get 
Why my controls making weird noises? Oh, I need to do more Merlin trials, but. easily. Seven gold pieces, good. Mr. Upted, how is she? Worried about you. Are you alright? I am alright. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic can... I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked by something. So what do I have to do? Rebellion. <sighs> Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. Wand. He'll be glad to have this back. No. I have to give him his wand back. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Now what? You're gonna free, free my friend? Yep. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. I need 
need to get another thing up to there. Find all the bits and bobs. Okay, okay slot me, Merlin trials. See now. Revelio. That's a chest. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Statue. Do again, more Rebellion. early trials. I'm probably making a weird noise when I get, get on near this. I don't know what the hell it is. Why it's making that noise. Rebellion. Letter. I mean, it says it's optional. I can't remember what that freaking letter is. If I'm honest. Might be in one of these chests. Otto did a love letter from Monty. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. And now I have to find my way out. Ah, yep, stairs, 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 stairs. Let's uh, find yep. Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow. Officer Zinger, she's probably not going to be too happy with I me. Should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. 
I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, they've also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Yeah, she's not gonna be happy. One little bit. Okay, I do get a little bit of XP. Not much. Anyway, I'm gonna end the uh, video here. Let's see what's the next. Let's go and meet um, Sebastian there. Level 17. Well, I'm gonna breeze that. <laughs> Complete your wizard's fear guide. I never, I've never really done that anyway, but um, but yeah. So I'm gonna say thank you for watching. You can leave a like and favorite, subscribe as well. You can like and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. As well, you can follow me on um, Twitch and Instagram. If you so wish, I've been to with the gamer. It's been Hogwarts Legacy, and. Well,